Welcome back to part two of building a basketball simulation iOS app. I hope you enjoyed the first part and let's get right back to it. In this part, I want to focus on building the concept of a basketball team where you're going to have a roster of players and whatever other kind of variables and functions that we're going to need to do this. And although we're building this as an iOS app, this is the kind of application that can work with any programming language you want. Um, I just hope to uh, integrate some of the mobile features and actually get some graphics and really cool stuff to work with iOS phones. So like I said before, we're going to focus on the team. And for that, we should build a team class. So we're going to navigate after we delete this old code from the player. Thought I'd zoom in a bit more here. I feel like the last one might have been <laughs> a little too small to read all the words. For this team class, um, the types of variables that we'll need, it's obviously the name of the team. Um, every team needs a roster, and we can represent that as an array of players, player objects, and we've already defined the players already. So next, we just can keep track of the team overall offense and defense scores as well. And we can um, represent that the same way we did with the players, where we just have a single number to just encapsulate. Here we're also using the name generator function from last episode, where we're gonna get a random team name out of this array that I've already pre-filled with using the 30 NBA teams. So it's just gonna pick a random name from there. And remember, we're also gonna cross it off the list so we don't end up with two, ne two teams that have the same name. So yep, the function pick random team name is what we will be using and it the functionality is pretty much the same as get random player name here. So the next thing we'll need, just like making a random player, is the ability to make a random team. So this is where our make random player function that we defined last episode is going to help us here. Um, essentially what we can do is create a roster filled with random players and then just create a team given that roster. So here, in terms of thinking what values we'll use for the team offense and defense, what I thought is, what if we have an offensive offense and defense variable, and we just sum up all the values for each player, and we just make it the average, basically for the team offense, will be the average of um, each score for each player. And now I think we want to test this. So um, because the team is um, a lot bigger than the player class, it might be a bit more complicated to just print out the team. So let's make a special function that'll help us see um, who's on the roster of this team.
Here I'm just making some extra adjustments, making sure that the label has enough space to fit our potentially long team names like the San Antonio Spurs might be pretty long. So here it works as successful. Whenever we click that button, we get a random team and each of these teams have their own different rosters and they all have different named players. So this was a success. All right, I think this part is just about done. Um, for the next part, I want to focus on the concept of a game. We're going to figure out how to get these random teams that we generate to play against each other and how we're going to track and record that kind of functionality. Thanks for tuning in again and until next time. I wish that I